Adrian Newey has been linked to yet another sensational but not unexpected destination for his services, and after he's been spotted near the headquarters of his current team's fiercest rival, talks have been started yet again about how the genius mastermind could switch the working environment amid the power struggle going on in Red Bull. Reports from Automoto und Sport say that Red Bull have done everything Newey hates in a team, which is to have an internal politics struggle. So with all this in mind, could we actually see this move happen? And if so, is Ferrari the leader for his signature, considering the interest that Aston Martin has shown as well? It goes without saying that one of the most important figures in the sport right now is Adrian Newey. And even though Red Bull's chief Christian Horner tried to minimize the effect of the Brit on how the team has performed in the past couple of years, saying that it's more of a team effort rather than a one-man job, the rest of the grin know what kind of values Newey brings to the table with himself. This is why the world of F1 has never been the same after Hamilton's move to Ferrari, which, while prompted a lot of talks about engineers joining from Mercedes, has swiftly changed to this power figure of Red Bull, who has now been spotted 40 kilometers away from Maranello at the nearby airport in Bologna. Of course, this could mean all things, but amid all of the power shift struggle in Red Bull, in which Horner has taken one side while the Verstappen clan and Marco have taken another one, it's safe to assume that Newey and the people who actually care about racing, and not politics, are caught in the middle of the fire. This could be a very good opportunity for Red Bull's rivals, such as Ferrari and Aston Martin, to actually pursue the signature of the experienced Brit, who's been dubbed to be one of the best living legends in the sport when it comes to the aerodynamic core of the car. Reporting about this matter, Michael Schmidt from Automoto und Sport went on to say that the current situation in Red Bull is influencing Newey's decision about whether or not he'll have a positive answer to his current tenure, adding, Losing Adrian Newey would be just as great as losing Max Verstappen, and there is nothing more that Newey hates than internal politics. Ever since things started going wrong at Red Bull, the competition has tasted blood. Now, even Red Bull have opened up about the offers that have been made towards Newey, with Helmut Marko saying that they're definitely not the first one that have come through the door for the Brit. And it's not something that could have a huge effect on, considering the fact that the world of F1 is ever moving and it's not stopping for anyone. However, comments that have arrived from the insider camp of Red Bull state that Newey's closest co-worker, Pierre Wachet, is seeing himself as the architect of the recent Red Bull success, even though it's been massively written to Newey. Despite the comments made from Wachet that there is not a single individual that can be pointed out for the massive success they've had in the current ground effect era. Be that as it may, the situation in Red Bull could be prone to changes, and after Verstappen's latest comments about Newey, it's obvious that even though the team believes it's a one-man job when it comes to winning the way he's been winning, it won't be very easy for them to hear that Newey will be switching seats for Ferrari. Now, we don't lack any information about Adrian's wish to work with Ferrari. He stated that many times throughout his book, saying that one of his biggest regrets is not working with people like Hamilton and teams like Ferrari, who have left their internal mark on this sport. Regardless of the successes he's had in Red Bull, there comes a time where an engineer and a creative mind like Newey has to dig deeper for more motivation and more success. And the fact that two of this criteria has been filled by Hamilton's alliance with Ferrari, it's safe to assume that a trip to Maranello a couple of days ago was not made without any significant purpose. There is absolutely nobody other than Newey and Ferrari who can give relevant information on this subject when it comes to the topics that were discussed. But considering the fact that the power shift in Red Bull was not resolved, as a matter of fact, it's taken a massive swing in the background while the team is trying to keep everything under the rug, goes to show that Adrian might be looking at the progress made in the teams next to his garage. Now, it would be silly to suggest that Ferrari would be giving him all of the information they have on the development battle because he's still committed to the Austrian team, but even if they did so, the parts that the RB20 and the SF24 went are two different ones, and they'll continue to be like that for the upcoming season as well. 2026, however, is the first season in which we're bound to see a massive shakeup in the technical regulations, and for the first time in four years, the downforce of the cars won't have such a big impact on how the Challenger behaves on the track. This is where the question of Newey arises, and maybe this is where Red Bull are coming from with their comments about how the success is not purely on Newey, because maybe from 2026 onwards, there won't be such a great need from him after everything he's done for the Austrian squad. After all, Horner was adamant that Newey is much more focused on the hypercar project, the RB17, but stating that he's not that an integral part of Red Bull's success must be nerve-wracking for Newey, 
who has left everything he has for this team after he joined them from a similar scenario that ravaged McLaren back in the day. And this is something that Newey has opened up as well. There is a period in which Red Bull is currently placed in, and that it's reaching the absolute maximum out of the challenger they're working on. When talking about the aerodynamic gains that Red Bull are making in the current period, Newey added, The rules are starting to converge now, but we're into that sort of, okay, we've done some visual changes for this year's car, but the principles are the same. So the differences are reducing internally. In our case, we're struggling to find the gains. In terms of error gains in percent per month, we're flattening without a doubt. The momentum is currently on Ferrari's side, and regardless of our personal opinions, the Brit is viewed as one of the best men you could possibly have in the team right now to build the car around, no matter how much Red Bull denies this statement. And keeping Nui would definitely be a challenge if the situation isn't fixed between Horner and the Verstappen and Marco fraction in Red Bull. Because even though everything looks smooth on the surface now, Jos Verstappen's words were quite strong. Until Horner is removed from his seat, there won't be any peace in the team. This is something that's been spoken about Toto Wolf too, who said that the internal power shift in Red Bull is the exact reason why he won't be rushing to pick a new driver, considering the fact that in a surprising turn of events, the services of Max Verstappen could become available out of nowhere. And this is another factor that Ferrari needs to take into consideration. Newey is not liked and available to sign for their team only, as the Brit has held talks with Aston Martin as well. Although the team principal of the Silverstone-based team, Mike Crack, has gone on to deny these talks right after they were made public, sources close to Aston Martin say that in Saudi Arabia, apart from the Aramco Lawrence Stroll meeting that was held, the mastermind of Red Bull was also offered a blank check for his services, which were further fueled by talks that Max Verstappen had the same offer on his table, all they had to do was sign the deal. Now, it would be logical for us to believe that Newey would have any interest in cooperating with Aston Martin if the Ferrari deal is set to fall apart. Because after all, from 2026 onwards, the regulations are moving much more towards the engine, and this is the supplier that worked with Red Bull since 2019. So, it would be a huge plus for him to work out the aerodynamic details of a car while knowing everything there is to be known about the engine part of the car as well. Regardless of that, Ferrari had been rumoured to up their talks with the second approach that they had with Newey, and that may be one of the reasons why the Brit decided to visit the Maranello factory in person, to see with his eyes whether the project that Hamilton was convinced into is something that he can fall in love with. Well, with all this in mind, do you think that Newey and Ferrari will collaborate from 2025 onwards? And more importantly, do you think that the Marinello team has what it takes to offer Newey a deal that he'll be too tempted to not sign? Let us know in the comments down below.